What is up, Anava fam? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my page. So we are back with another video, you guys. This video is going to be a wig try on and review. As you can see, I do have the wig on my head currently. So um, I am going to be installing it and giving you a little short review right after the video. So be sure to watch all the way to the end so you can see my review. But um, yeah, so also you guys we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers if you have not subscribed as of yet please go ahead and do so also be sure to check out my store anavashadeapparel.store so that you can copy some really really nice outfit they're very very affordably priced so be sure to check that out as well the link will be in the description down below but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the wig review all right you guys so i already have my bald cap installed um this is going to be a wet lace um swiss lace wig the style is celeste and the color is money piece caramel and this is by the wet lace sensational brand um so i've never tried i've tried this brand before but i've never tried this specific wig um so I'm just taking it out the pack and everything, you guys. Um, and it's a nice, nice brown color um, with these blonde streaks. The lace, um, a lot of wigs. What I like about what lace is that their lace is more wider than some of some wigs. They literally like the lace is just through the part. So you can't really like do multiple parting. Um, these are all the colors that it comes with, but I primarily like this one the best. So right now I'm going in with Ghost Bond um, glue. And that one was running out. I know I had just bought one and I was trying to find it. I ended up finding it. And I'm going to show you guys. It's the Ghost Bond glue. Um, I actually like this one better than Bold Hold, I believe is the other one. Um but i guess everyone has their own preference but this one works really well for me so what i do is just go around my edges um the edge of the wig cap and then i use one of these little edge brushes and i just do thin layers and spread it out and then keep stacking on layers i probably do about two to three layers um just to make sure i get a good stick because sometimes i do sleep in these wigs I don't I don't think that's a good idea because it does make your wig not last as long um, but I tend to braid mines up and put a wig cap on and stuff and it lasts pretty a pretty decent amount of time um, and I don't want to keep taking it off every night because I don't think that's gonna be good on my edges but anyway so I'm brushing out the wig you guys brushing 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 um I didn't like preview this before so i'm just going with the flow right now while i'm doing this voiceover so that's the tinted lace and i use that to um make the lace blend a little bit more with my scalp um i believe i have the darkest color that it came in to be honest or no there was a darker color than that that was probably the second darkest um and i think it was about seven dollars at my local hair store so now i'm gonna put the wig on the ghost bond glue is tacky now so it's gonna hold the wig really well and then i'll just blow dry it to um make it stick but yeah so it's really hard for me to do everything in front of the camera because like my flip up screen on my camera is so small so i have to look in the mirror um but i'm trying to show you guys the best way i can um so i'm getting my blow dryer to blow dry it and y'all if y'all have the newer ring light does y'all ring light do that like i feel like the cord got a shortage so quickly like i probably had it for maybe i don't know a couple months and then it started doing that so i think i'm just gonna replace the cord but anyway so i'm just blow drying the edges and everything and i'm trying to remember what i'm doing next oh okay so we're about to cut the lace um 
and if you saw on the side of my cheek that's like a little bit of the uh got to be spray glue and it had ran down my cheek when i was putting on my wig cap so it's like literally like dried there but anyway so my lace is all cut and everything i do have to go back in um so i use the got to be spray to kind of hold down any like lace that was lifting um and then i made a well it doesn't it didn't even affect it that much but it accidentally went on my hair i was trying to blend the lace in a little bit more so i did get some foundation and um on a brush and blended it better but um there we go and then uh, now this is the baby hairs um i'm just going to see that i'm gonna have to spray that down again but anyway um i'm just showing you a clip of the baby hair section that i'm doing right now but i'm gonna do all of the baby hairs off the camera because that is hard for me to do on camera so i'm just going in don't mind my scissors they have glue all over them um so i'm cutting the little piece and then i use an edge brush and i use edge booster um, which works really really well for me when I'm doing my edges and then I just do a little swoop motion So I'm gonna also do this um, Towards where my ear is I'm gonna do a little section there and then I'm gonna do the same thing the same two sections on the other side and then I'll come back um, And show y'all what it looked like All right, you guys so this is it um i'm going to have to tie it down so that it can really you know um see look how much spray i have under my chin y'all like what the heck anyway i have to tie it down and everything to make it hold so that's what i'm doing i definitely need to brush the back of this wig because it look a little crazy right now but yeah so i'm doing that now and yeah i got this um scarf from my local hair store too it was like two dollars only thing i don't like i'm gonna just throw it in the washing machine to be honest well i don't know if i can or maybe i'll hand wash it because it has like gel and stuff all over it and if you wonder why i froze just now i was trying to do a <laughs> a thumbnail photo but i ain't gonna go with that one but anyway so this is the wax stick that i use um that's from my local hair store also this is to kind of like get that bumpiness out like don't y'all hate when y'all get wigs out of the pack and it's super super bumpy um so i use this to kind of tame it and make it a little bit more flatter so it doesn't look as wiggy um and then i have my pink hot comb i got this from amazon i believe it was like 30 dollars um and yeah i just go in and after i put the wax stick on i just go on with the hot comb and it lays it down a lot a lot better than it was because when it's straight out the pack mm -mm, honey no anyway um did this thing stop recording hold on it didn't y'all i'm tripping i literally thought it stopped recording anyway so i'm taking the satin um scarf off and people are messaging me on instagram anyway um so yeah like if as you can see it's a lot flatter than it was before a lot less wiggy looking and it looks more you know more intact y'all i love this so much i'm like brushing i need to stop brushing it so much it, it doesn't even shed though that bad a lot of wigs like shed really really bad this one doesn't shed that bad um and i tried with the baby hairs y'all i'm not that great at it but yeah so this is my slow-mo
right, you guys, we are back. So that was my install of this wig. My overall review, you guys, I absolutely adore this wig. I was a little skeptical because I usually get a 1 or a 1B. Honestly, like the 1 is like the darkest black that you could get in a wig. And then a 1B is kind of like a natural black. This honestly feel, looks like a 2 maybe i'm thinking um it's really really like brown and i'm like mm, i don't know how that's gonna look on me and then with the blonde in the front i was like i don't know the only thing that i can say about this wig though that i was like um hmm, kind of iffy about is this side seems like it does not have as much blonde that's visible as this side or maybe it just lays differently i don't know um but it's still really 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 cute um, you're also able to part it in multiple ways so you don't have to just wear it like this. You can, you know, pull it over and stuff like that. Um, now I did do the style and use the wax stick for it to have a middle part right now. So I don't want to mess it up too much. Um, but I probably am going to brush it to the side so I don't have to keep a middle part all the time. Um, but yeah, this is definitely really, really cute. The lace is very, very, very not noticeable, which I really, really love. Um, and then it's not too much. I was also kind of skeptical because I thought it was going to be like too much going on, like big streaks of blonde and whatnot in my hair. And like, I don't know, it just seemed like it might have been too much. But overall, I think it's a really, really cute look and it's not like super fancy. You could you know wear this while you're dressed up but then you can also dress down and have this and it's still gonna look good so that's my overall review you guys if you want to see more wig reviews be sure to let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have any video suggestions also let me know in the comment section down below again we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers so if you have not subscribed as of yet please go ahead and do so and i will see you guys in the next video bye